In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve the placement of your attacks. This is something which can really help you move up a level. Um, and it's really simple. Anyone can do this. It really doesn't matter what level you are at the moment, or whether you like to top spin, or whether you like to flat hit things. This is all about where on the table you should attack to give your opponents the most difficulty. And if you can get it right, you'll definitely win more points. Firstly, you can see on the table I've marked out two areas. I'm gonna call these the buckets. And basically, you want to avoid attacking here and attacking here, attacking the buckets. Avoid attacking the buckets, why? These are the easiest positions for your opponent to return your attacks. Your opponent doesn't really have to move much and the ball bounces right up into the hitting zone so they can get in a, you know, a good block or a good counter attack when you attack here and when you attack there. So attacking to the buckets, generally no good. Instead, you want to try and get your attacks either deeper or wider. Now this means that you're going to start aiming towards the lines. So let's move this tape. Okay, so I've moved the tape away from the buckets. And I've moved them deeper and wider. So any of your attacks now, which start landing beyond the tape towards the lines, they're going to be so much harder for your opponent to be able to return. Um, so if your attacks go deep, okay, landing in this area here, you may well force your opponent to go back. Okay, have to go back off the table. Now when your opponent goes back off the table, they've got more space in which they have to cover and you're going to create some really good angles to aim for. Or if you attack deep and your opponent likes to stay up to the table, yeah, they're going to have hardly any space to play. Boom, 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 boom. So they're really going to struggle to be able to defend your attack. If you get your attacks out wide, so we're talking about here or here, you're going to make your opponents move. Now, if your opponent is moving and having to hit at the same time, it's going to be hard for them to do a good quality shot compared to if the ball just lands shorter and lands right into their hitting zone. Um, now, of course, you're making your opponent move, they still may get the ball back, of course they may do, but by making them move, what have you done? You've opened up the table. So if they get the ball back, you're going to have a bigger target to attack with your next shot. Or if you attack out wide, yeah, and your opponent doesn't move, they're going to stretch to try and reach the ball. So actually they may not reach it, or even if they do reach it, it's not likely that they're going to play a good shot because they're going to be off balance, they're not going to play a good technique, it's going to be a poor shot.
To make your attacking game even better, you should vary the positions you attack. So don't always attack the same spot. So even if you were to get your attack deep, which is good, if it's always to the same position, it's going to be less effective. Your opponent's going to get used to where you're attacking. So you should vary which positions you attack. Attack here, attack here, attack here, attack here, attack here. The corners are good. Causes people difficulty. Yep. Out wide is good. Causes people difficulty. The crossover point, so that hip area. The crossover between an opponent's forehand and backhand, that's also very good. So you want to mix it up, okay? This will make it really hard for your opponent if they don't know what to expect. So I hope all of that makes sense. Basically, if you can improve the placement of your attacks, you're going to win more points. Think about three things. Number one, avoid the buckets. Instead, aim towards the lines and vary the position of your attacks. Attack to different positions. It does take a bit of practice to get your shots consistently close to the line um, and you may miss the table you know a few times to begin with but when you can do it you're going to be able to put your opponent under a lot more pressure so i hope you found this video useful for more table tennis tips please visit my website www.tabletenniscoach.me.uk